Hi, this is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. Wanted to answer a question we often get um, regarding settlement trusts. And the question we get is, okay, what are the mechanics of setting up a settlement trust? How do we actually go about doing it? Does the defendant have to pay directly to the trust or can it come through our IOLTA account, et cetera? So what we like to do is before settlement or right at the time of settlement, obviously it's best for us to get on a phone call or sit down with you and your client, talk about um, you know what the settlement plan is going to be, but assuming a settlement trust is decided upon, then what happens is in most states, the you know if it's a special needs trust, in most states the funds can come directly uh, to the plaintiff attorney's IELTA account and then to the special needs trust. If it's just a settlement trust and not a special needs trust, then almost always the funds can just be deposited into the plaintiff attorney's IELTA account and then the trust can be funded from there. Um, so essentially what happens is we, we then sit down with the client, we talk about you know which trustee makes the most sense, whether that's a family member, um, whether that's a third party trust company, um, whatever that makes the most sense in that situation, we'll make sure they understand the trustee relationship and how that works the pros and cons of using a corporate trustee versus a family member, and then um, essentially draft the trust documents, get those set up, and then the attorney can fund the trust from there. So if you're thinking about using a settlement trust or you're wondering what the process is, generally there doesn't need to be any involvement from the defendant like there does with a structured settlement annuity. Generally that can just be paid into your trust account first, and then the settlement trust can be funded from there once we have a, a settlement plan in place with the plaintiffs. So if you have any questions about a settlement trust, give us a call. We'd uh, be happy to talk to you about it.